Hey, welcome to Get to Know Me, and I'm here with Shari Botwin. Okay, hey, Shari, um, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself and your book, Thriving After Trauma? Sure. So I have been working as a therapist, helping people in recovery from a whole bunch of different issues. Um, that my specialties include trauma, eating disorders, depression, depression, and anxiety. And my book, Thriving After Trauma, came out last November. And it's a book that really just addresses different types of trauma. And I talk about many different people who've come to see me for therapy and work through their recovery. And it's also a little bit about my own story of recovering from trauma. Okay. And what was the turning point for you to tell your story? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it might be backwards, but um, so I think, so I've been working on my recovery since my mid twenties, but for me, the, the turning point, the, the time when my life really changed was when I had my little guy, who's now almost 10, he's turning 10 in March. I decided at around age 38 that I really wanted to have kids. And at that point I was still single. So I did the sort of crazy thing and just decided, you know what, I'm going to have a baby anyway. And I went and had a baby on my own um, with, with some help and from fertility doctors. And it's been the best thing that's ever happened to me because it really helps me to know that I'm so much more than just someone who survived abuse and the, the joy and the love that he's brought into my world. It's just amazing. Okay. Well, that's good. You turned it around. So we're going to begin. Uh, my first question for you is if money was not an object, what would you do all day? dance what type of dance would it be a certain type or just dancing in general uh you better watch out because i know that you you like to do rap and all that but i would say my favorite type of dance is hip-hop and i'm known to still bust out and go nuts if i hear <laughs> if i hear songs that i love um dance was something that helped me to survive growing up and now dance is something that i just do because i love it and it's fun okay good did you do any dancing in like an actual studio or are you just doing it in your free time so now, because I'm just, well, I am 50 now, now that I'm 50 and I work and I have a, a almost 10 year old, I haven't been to a studio in probably about 15 years, but I do find classes that I can do, especially during COVID. I do classes online. And I think for me at this point, dance is something that I just do when I'm working out or sometimes when I'm on my Peloton, I do end up getting off the bike and saying, you know what? I like this song. So screw the bike. And I may, <laughs> and, I, and I will bust out a move then. Okay. What's the most embarrassed you've ever felt? Oh, did you say when or what, what, what is, oh gosh, I feel like there's a lot of those moments. Um, my gosh, even just the other day, I'm sitting in session and things just, <laughs> started falling off my walls when I was doing a telemedicine session. Um, oh my goodness. That's a hard one. I mean, my kid would tell you I embarrass him every single day. So I feel like I have had so many of them. I know growing up, I, I felt embarrassed, but I felt embarrassed about things that I shouldn't feel embarrassed about. So when I think of the word embarrassment, I think, well, at this point, when I embarrass myself, it's just because I'm being myself and I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's what I feel like the question is. Just like something that you can laugh it off with, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like at this point, I pretty much laugh everything off, no matter how serious or bad it might be, because it is what it is. And um, there's just some things we can't control. Yeah. What song would you sing at karaoke night? Oh, gosh. All right. Well, <laughs> the song that I love right now, is I'm sure you know it. It's called Body by... How do you say her name? Meg De Stallion. Oh, Meg De Stallion, yeah. I mean, <laughs> dude, if you play, we were just driving home from somewhere and it came on, and I don't know the words yet, and I would definitely do the clean version, <laughs> not the uh, explicit version. I wouldn't do that, um, but I love that song. So that's the first one that comes to mind. Okay, if you can only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh my lord, I love food. Uh, <laughs> steak baked potato with a, a shitload of melted cheddar cheese and a big cup of hot chocolate okay. with whipped what? cream. 
What makes you laugh the most? Oh my God, myself. I just think I'm ridiculous. So I think some of the things that come out of my mouth or some of the ways that I act, I just, besides myself, definitely my almost 10 year old, especially when he just sort of all of a sudden will just bust out dancing in the middle of his school day because he's currently at school at home and it, he cracks me up. He's totally like just jamming while she, the teacher's talking about like when to put periods and capital letters. And he also whistles a lot, which cracks me up. He's whistling right now. <laughs> okay. Who would you want to play you in a movie about your life? Hmm. Uh, I'm going to say Adina Menzel. Okay, and why? Do you know who she is? I don't. Adina Menzel, she was one of the voices in the movie The uh, Frozen. She's Broadway. She has a lot of Broadway pop. She's not on the radio so much, but she's won Tony Awards. She was in the uh, Broadway musical Wicked. Okay. I'll check her out. Is there a sudden reason you want her? Because I think she's badass and I think that she, we're around the same age and she also is a single parent. So I feel like if she were to read my story, she'd be able to relate to a lot of it. Okay. What's one thing you'll never do again? Uh, what's one thing I would never do again? I don't want to say never have, I'll never have another kid. <laughs> I'm too old. <laughs> Uh, what's three things you think about mostly throughout the day? Uh, my kittens. Uh, the people that I've met since my book came out last year. And definitely my kid. Okay. If you were able to hire somebody right at this moment to help you with um, cleaning, cooking, or your work, which would it be? Definitely cooking. Dude, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm working on it, but. It needs a lot of work. Okay. You have a favorite thing to make? Yeah. Lately, we like to just eat penne, but we eat it with this really good sauce and broccoli, and it's easy. Okay. And my final question for you is, where do you see yourself in the next five years? I see myself in a relationship, in a happy, healthy relationship, and I think I see myself having another book come out. Okay. You currently working on one now? Um, in my head, I am, <laughs> uh, I, people are asking me if I'm going to write another book. So I feel like my next book might be a little bit more about my personal journey. Um, but especially since I turned 50, which just happened a couple months ago. So I think that's what I picture. Okay. Well, that'd be cool. Uh, so, um, anything you want to promote, anything you have coming up your social media and all that, so how people can reach you and how to get your book. Yeah, so my book is sold pretty much anywhere books are sold, Amazon, Barnes and Noble, you can get it off Goodreads, and it's an audio, ebook, and hardcover. Um, again, the title is Thriving After Trauma, Stories of Living and Healing. I would love for people to find me on Instagram. I'm at WarriorBot17. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn, so I feel like if you want to find me, all you need to do basically is Google me, Sherry Botwin, and you should be able to connect with me. But my book is something that I'm very passionate about and want to just say to people, if you can get your hands on it, please do. And if you like it, tell your friends and then tell your friends to tell your friends and definitely post reviews because they do help. Okay. Well, I appreciate you for doing the show with me. Sure. Thanks for having me. No problem. You were a great guest. Thank you. Good luck with everything you're doing. You too. Thanks. No problem.